The function is palindrome takes a single argument num, which is the number we want to check if it's a palindrome. We convert the number to a string using the str function so that we can easily compare its characters forwards and backwards. We check if the string is the same forwards and backwards using slicing. If the string is a palindrome, it will be the same forwards and backwards when we reverse the order of the characters. We can do this using the slice notation, which returns the string in reverse order. If the string is the same forwards and backwards, we return true to indicate that the number is a palindrome. Otherwise, we return false to indicate that it is not a palindrome. That's it. Now you can use this function to check if any number is a palindrome or not.